identity politics up to a point where, you know, these these just standard emotions or just standard attributes get put on this soapbox trophy, you know, uh, pedestal and they become your identity. And that's why people are not accepting are not very accepting of these type of recruitment videos. People always ask me if I'm ready for the next crisis to hit America. Yes, I am. But a lot of people aren't prepared and they'll suffer when they see things like hyperinflation, gas shortages, and the stock market crash or civil unrest. Friends, please don't be a victim. Make sure you have enough emergency food stockpiled today. There's only one company I recommend, My Patriot Supply. They're America's leading preparedness company, and they're here to help you become self-reliant. My Patriot Supply has been in the business for over a dozen years, and they've served millions of families earning over 39,000 four- and five-star reviews. Their food is specifically packaged to stay fresh for up to 25 years, and right now you can save $50 on their four-week emergency food kit. The meals are delicious and provide 2,000 calories a day. Just go to preparewithnatalie.com and save $50 on a four-week kit. Don't wait for something bad to happen. We might not get a warning. Go to preparewithnatalie.com. Muchachos y muchachas, and especially to our service members out there, whether you're a veteran or currently serving at, at this very moment, we salute you. Hello, muchachos y muchachas. And also, we are sorry. We are so sorry. We wholeheartedly apologize on behalf of society um, because what culture is trying to infiltrate you guys. As sad and as depressing as that sounds, wool culture is trying it with our military members, or at least the image thereof. Just the other week, actually, I, I did a reaction video to a CIA recruitment video. And this video featured a strong Latina with a anxiety disorder, who also is, um, you know, cisgender, all these, all these things that she, she named out. And I think we can all agree that this is also cringe because it's like, you know, when we think of someone who is great for the job, what are their attributes? What, what are not, not identities, not identities. What are their you know, skill sets that accomplish them in the, the climbing the ladder in climbing the uh, ladder of success, the corporate ladder, if you will, if it's in the CIA. Yeah, I can say that. Not not your your failures, not your weak links, not the, I'm a weak link. Look at me, you know, the, and I'm in the CIA. Like, not that because that the, no, that's why you were a laughing stock last week. We are now living through a culture that capitalizes off of identity politics up to a point where, you know, these these just standard emotions or just standard attributes get put on this soapbox trophy, you know, uh, pedestal and they become your identity. And that's why people are not accepting are not very accepting of these type of recruitment videos. Well, now the U.S. Army has put out a recruitment video that is probably, if not equally as cringe, probably a little bit more. And I, again, I apologize. I am so sorry. I am so sorry that this is the image that they want to portray to the world of the Army. But this is, this is what their marketing campaign has chosen to do. So we're going to look at that today. And um, before I do that, I, of course, am going to give you a comparison of other foreign armies with their recruitment videos before we even get there, because I want you to have a good comparison as to what I'm talking about. Let's jump straight to it, shall we? 
We're going to start with the Chinese army. This is their recruitment video. I'm going to skip through some parts because it is a little long winded. And uh, yeah, you'll see. So what are you looking at? I mean, this is like this. This seems pretty standard for an army. Uniformity, toughness, you know, like ready to go on any single mission at a given point. Pretty standard. But you'll see why I'm saying, and I know I know I'm talking about the Chinese army. I know that's controversial to say, but you're going to see that these two armies, before I show you what I'm going to show you, are sexy compared to what I'm going to show you. Intelligence, artillery, you know, arsenal, tanks, explosions. Sexy. All right. So that was the Chinese army, right? Like that was that. So now we're going to get into the Russian army. And look, I'm showing you this for a reason. You're going to see why. Первый день твоей новой жизни. То, что было вчера, не имеет значения. То, кем ты был прежде, уже никого не волнует. Теперь важно то, кем ты будешь сегодня. Что ты знаешь о себе? На что ты спас? Big, burly, muscular dudes, like waking up at the given point of, hey, we're on mission. Get up. Hey, this it's time. Get up. They're not, they're not, they're in a sterile environment. They're not in this like fluffy, whatever, you know, sort of setting. Just get up. Concrete, get up. Особенно. Muscle, discipline. Вопросы могут остаться без ответов, но разве ты сможешь потом спокойно спать? Узнать себя, познать границы своих возможностей. К черту границы. Ты готов ломать себя до изнеможения. Каждый день здесь боль закаляет. Шрамы, повседневность. Это ты решил себе что-то доказать. Командир здесь только для того, чтобы ты мог увидеть в нем врага. Потому что без врага нет боя, а без боя нет победы. Но на самом деле, главный враг это ты. Вчерашний ты. Твоя задача выследить врага, догнать его, превзойти, стать лучше, чем он, и вернуться назад победителем. Потому что завтра первый день твоей новой жизни. Sexy. Yeah? Like sexy. This is this is our army. This is what to expect. This is you're you're gonna train, you're gonna be disciplined, it's gonna be hard. Uh, you're going to be ready to go at every any given point, and you're going to defend our country. Be bottom line, that's what I got. I need. I don't even speak Chinese or Russian, but that's what I got. USA, let's go. USA. What? It, <laughs> what does USA have to say? First, you know what? I'm going to actually let it play from the very beginning because I actually have a thought about this. Some criticism, if you will. Since when do we have to become a Marvel comic? Since when do we need a intro that resembles the Marvel Cinematic Universe introduction? Why do we need to become a cartoon? Why do we have to become a Disney production? Thank you. 
This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems. It begins in California with a little... girl raised by two moms. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin. You, you get what I'm talking about? This is the U.S. Army, you guys. This is the, this is the U.S. Army. Like when I think, at least like when I was growing up and I thought Army or Marines or, or like any military branch, like I thought discipline, toughness, you know, training, hard training, dirt, artil like everything that comes with being an, a, a, a soldier or, you know, whatever. Why are we, why are we a, a, a caricaturing each individual of the army. What does this say? Who cares? You had this upbringing. Who cares? Like when you clock back to the Russian, the Russian ad, it showed a little bit of that soldier's. I don't know if it was his actual life or his perceived life, where he showed him in a field, it showed him with his friends. Before that, it was a, a small blip. And here we're over here emphasizing this Disney-esque picture of a soldier. I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. Doctors said she might never walk again, but she tapped into my family's pride to get back on her feet eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class and then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong women. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life, a sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women, but what had I really achieved on my own? One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy. Another was climbing Mount Everest. I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. So wait a minute, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, the United States Army, let me tell you something. When you've got people who at their own free will join the army, to not only just join, it's not joining a sorority. It's not going out to Italy to have coffee and study. It's not climbing Mount Everest. It is to also taking an oath to defend our nation from enemies, foreign and domestic. So I am so sorry. I, I don't know who this is going to offend if this is your type of thing. But it is not a walk in the, it's not on a walk in the park. It's not going to get coffee or climbing mountains or anything like that. And it's not just an adventure. It's not just an adventure. This is what makes me angry. I'm going to throw my chair. I'm going to throw my chair across the room. Because how do you just go in and compare joining the army to an adventure? It is literally like you're literally and, and, you know, props to her because she's putting her life on the line to defend her country. But it's. This is not the message to put out to the public that this is an adventure. This is La La Land. You understand what I'm talking about? And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. It's not about that, though. <laughs> It's not about, it's not about your inner, uh, yes, it is, it is building your inner strength along the way, but it's not about shattering stereotypes and all these things. It's not about that. It's about defending your nation at the given moment. That's what it's all about. It's about defending freedoms. I 
I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my calling. It's completely embarrassing. And so this is actually a compilation video that I just showed you guys. The original video, so this is the original video on the Army account, YouTube account. They actually turned off the comments because you could probably use your imagination and, and understand why. People are infuriated by this. So um, thankfully, they have comments on this compilation video because it's not uh, from the Army. Uh, this is by Censored News Now. Here's some comments uh, that read at the bottom from some users that watch this. The Chinese ad makes me want to join the Chinese Army. The Russian ad makes me want to join the Russian Army. The USA ad makes me want to join the Chinese or the Russian Army. Pretty much. Sun Tzu, <laughs> Ivan Ivanovich Ivanovsky says, we sleep peacefully in our beds at night because Corporal Emma has two mothers. <laughs> Sun Tzu. Uh, another comment, China shows reality. Russia shows reality. America shows a gay and animated army. Uh, W.S. Holster says, unbelievable. The Disney culture, the Disney culture of everyone gets a trophy will be the death of freedom. Exactly. What did I what did I repeat throughout the commentary? This is not about individualism. This is about defending your nation. It's not about your feelings. It's about defending your nation. Army brass. Let's target the one percent that is least likely to join the military in hopes that we alienate the remaining 99 percent with cringe worry, vomit inducing moral superiority. Yeah, pretty much. Sums it up. China, discipline, Russia. This is how the bullet works. America, I have two moms. Uh, here we go. China, our soldiers are disciplined. Russia, our soldiers are strong. America, our soldiers have a mental breakdown if you call them a wrong pronoun. Uh, another one, China ad, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Russian ad, Tom Clancy, Splinter Cell, and USA ad, Dora the Explorer. Um, and just one more. At this rate, our enemies can just sling verbal insults at us to win wars. I mean... Um, That's so disappointing, dude. It's so... And I know that, the, like, I know that's the thing. I know that it's probably not even, like, I, it, it's not even the rest of the army population, the military population that is even in favor of something like this, where it, it sets an entire image or it, it sets an entire envelope over all of their... Uh, all of who they are all simply because the marketing campaign of the army decided that going woke was the best thing. It made us look so weak. It made us look weak. We are a manga Disney representation. It, it is a clear illustration of what we are doing a part of in, in woke culture, what they are doing. And that is hiding behind your emotions, hiding behind something, hiding behind your mask, hiding behind all these things. So we got to hide behind cartoons to illustrate our individuality when it shouldn't even be about individuality. It should be about an, an entire uh, unit. It should be about, um, you know, an entire the entirety of our defense system. But instead, they made it exactly with what they are trying to proliferate in our culture. And that is individual uh, emotions, individual, you know, uh, backstories. When at the end of the day, at the end of the day, sorry, Cupcake, it's not about that. Um, so especially you armed force veterans, are, I'm uh, sorry, uh, service members who are currently serving in our um, armed forces, or if you are a veteran, I especially would love your feedback on this because um, this is so embarrassing. This is uh, secondhand cringe. 
uh, emitting. And uh, on behalf of our idiotic society, I apologize. I'll take it for, I will apologize on behalf of our moronic society. And um, I say that you guys are um, badasses in my eyes and um, this ad is a disgrace. Anyway, guys, that's the video. What do you guys think about that? Um, let me know your comments or your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, thank you for your support for this channel. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Also, um, if it's on your heart and if you can, uh, please uh, think about supporting the channel. There are many useful links in the description below, uh, especially one that uh, you can reoccur um, anything towards me, uh, whatever would be on your heart and whatever you can do. So thank you guys so much for your support and I will catch you guys in the next video.